Hey everyone, it's Chris with The Action. I'm gonna bring two things to you today. Um, more educational things, not nothing really wrong, but things I look for as a home inspector. Uh, the first item is gonna be termites, and the second one's gonna be the furnace in the attic space. Uh, with this first item, uh, what we're looking for as a termite inspector is we look for things with heavy foliage, moisture, and uh, wood to ground contact. This area right here, it has pretty much everything. It has the heavy foliage, it has extra foliage along the base over here, and then you have a, a, a nice moisture area where this water might be splashing over and hitting this area. Perfect for termites. I didn't find any on this property, but as I'm leaving, as a termite inspector for the state, I'm required to recommend for treatment if you're not gonna remove these conditions. So if you like the way it looks, it's okay. That treatment normally stays in the ground for a very long time, as long as you don't break the barrier. All right, so the next item is the furnace. Let's go check it out. Today, I have a 95% efficiency furnace in the attic area. There's nothing wrong with this one at all, but I just kind of want to go over you, go over some of the things that I'm looking for uh, whenever I see this. So uh, this attic area is foam insulated, and with the foam insulated attic, uh, this is an airtight space. So with a high efficiency furnace, you need to be pulling in outside air. So this is an intake air uh, flue for your furnace. It's PVC, which is allowed because it doesn't actually burn hot enough to to mess with this PVC right here. Uh, this is your uh, your exterior exhaust right here and it's going out too as well. So you need to make sure you're pulling outside air and it's terminating outside too as well. Uh, then the next thing with this uh, furnace too is it actually um, has a, the pan isn't sloped 100%. So um, with it not being sloped 100% here, they put a float switch in place, so that's okay. I'm not, it's not enough for me to make a big deal about the pan being sloped or not. So that's it, that's uh, Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call. Thanks, bye.